Hi everyone, today I'm here to show you my maternity photo makeup look. Um, so right now I'm not wearing any makeup. I prepped my skin with some facial mist and then some Oscar oh, Get Up and Glow for some extra glow to my skin. And then um, my daily SPF moisturizer. And after all that was applied, I applied this um, Bioderma uh, pore, pore refiner. Um, before applying my foundation. So I already have all that prepped on my skin and I'll link everything below in the order that I applied it. And then I'm going to move on to applying my foundation. So I'm putting on the Makeup Forever Ultra High Def Foundation in R230. And this foundation photographs very well and it's just amazing and it blends in easily. It's awesome. And my skin is really shiny and red right now because it's it's 87 degrees out in Boston right now and my apartment's very hot. There's no air conditioner. Um, and I'm pregnant, so I'm running hotter. So, it's just very hot. So I'm actually going to blend this in. I'm going to use this Sigma Flat Top Kabuki brush to blend this in. This just helps even out my skin tone, hide the facial redness, or begin to hide it. Just want to get that all blended in. I love this makeup brush. It's so soft and amazing. It doesn't shed. Highly recommend it. Okay, now that that's all blended, I'm going to conceal. So first thing I'm going to conceal is my face, and I'm going to start off with the Derma Blend Concealer Stick um, in the 15 color and just conceal my nose area because I get a lot of facial redness around my nose. So I'm just gently tapping that in around the nose area. I also love that this concealer stick has SPF in it. It's so awesome. So once that's on, I'm going to use Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage and SC1 to conceal any zits on my face or old acne scars. So I'm using her Secret Camouflage brush as well to go with it. I'm just covering up any old scars that I have that might come out in photographs. Great. Now I'm going to conceal under my eyes using a free sample I got. It's a Clinique concealer in 05 Breeze. It's called Clinique Beyond Perfecting. You only need a little dot on each side because a little bit really goes a long way. And a lot of product comes out to so be very gentle. And I am actually going to use my Sigma concealer brush to pat this in and my fingers. I'm not doing a heavy eye makeup look with this, so I can get away with doing my concealer first. My under eye concealer first, I mean. Okay, I'm going to blend this in more, don't worry. Because I only wore a little bit of powder on the day of the photos because it was cold out, but I might apply a little more than I use in the photos because it's so hot and sweaty today. Sorry. Hey, it's hiding my face. Alright, so I got the concealer on, so now I'm going to do my face. 
So I'm going to start off with Benefit Hula Bronzer in Light, and the Char Charlotte Tilbury Powder and Sculpt uh, Brush. The only thing about this brush is it sheds, which I wasn't expecting because I see so many rave reviews about it everywhere. Kind of bronzing up my whole face, come very pale. So, got the bronzer done. So, now I am going to apply blush from the Becca Apreski palette, and this is in the color Winterberry right here, it's beautiful. A little up here as well, on the apples of my cheeks, down here. And going up on a diagonal. And then I'm gonna use my Sigma 110 face shape brush to kinda, oops, I had product on there, to soften it out. Soften out the edges. Now I'm going to apply some highlighter by Becca in Pearl, the liquid highlighter, and just do a small teeny pump, not a full one, because a lot of product comes out. And just apply it high on your face right here. I was not expecting it to get this hot so soon. I mean, I hate the winter, but oh my gosh. I think I need to install the air conditioner. So this will help provide a nice dewy glow for your photos. And some right here around the Cupid bow or whatever it's called. Just pat that all in. So then I'm going to do my eye makeup, and I'm going to do the NARS eyeshadow base because it works really well on both eyes. Just put that all over the lid. I love this. It helps prevent eyeshadow from creasing. It's amazing. I was using a different brand before for years and I don't know why I didn't try something different sooner. So that's all rubbed in. So then I'm going to use the Too Faced Naturalized palette and put Honey Pot, which is down here. You can tell it's one of my favorites because it's almost gone. Um, put that all over my lids. So I'm just using a brush that I've had for years. The label came off of it, so I don't know what it is, but just use your favorite eyeshadow brush. I can link stuff, though, that you can use as well. So I'm doing the lid and working into the crease very gently on both ends. And then I'm going to take Cashmere Bunny from the same palette and work it between my crease. Sorry, it's kind of hard to do this with the handheld mirror. So you can see this brush is kind of angled, so I can use it between the crease as well. But you could use like the MAC brushes or whatever you have to do something similar. Then I'm going to take Heaven, which is a paler color from the same palette, and put it between the center of my eyelid here with my finger. Same thing on the other eye. And then my MAC 217 blending brush, and put that in between, the, well right below the eyebrow and in between where the crease, just like right here. I'm just blending it all out. Same thing on the other eye. So 
blending it. And so now I have those two done, and I'm gonna do the eyeliner, which I'm gonna use Sex Presto eyeshadow from the same palette. And a little brush like this, you can use anything like it. Um, and I think this is an old Laura Mercier brush. And I'm just gonna use it to line my eyes. Okay, so I have my eyes lined, and then I'm going to take a brightener for the corner of my eyes by Kevin O'Coin, and just put it in the corner to brighten up the eye area. So you can see that right there. I'll just tap it in gently with my pinky finger. Now it is time for, oh, you know what I'll do? I'll put in the, so I'm going to, on the bottom waterline, I use the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal Liquid Eye Pencil, the eye cheat for bigger, brighter eyes, so in the white color. So I'm just going to line my waterline. Like this. This helps make your eyes look so much more awake. Sorry, I have to get in the mirror here. Alrighty, so now that that's done, I'm going to apply my mascara. Now I use a Lancome waterproof mascara in case I started crying during photos from being happy. But for today, I'm just going to use my Clinique high impact mascara because um, I'm not going to take photos and I just want something that's easier to take off at night. So I will grab that mascara and I'll link both below for you. Oh and I didn't say I use my Shiomer eyelash curler. My baby's kicking right now. So cute. Sorry. I don't mean to hide my face. I'm sorry I did that. So just coating up on mascara. Just a teeny tiny amount on the lower lashes. And then I'm going to do my eyebrows. So just brushing it out. 
with the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush that I have. And then I'm going to apply the Benefit 3D Brows. It has this little spoolie. You just do little short hair-like strokes, very gentle throughout the brow. And brush it through, doing more short hair-like feather strokes. And then after I apply it, I just kind of comb through. And then I'll do my other brow. Now sometimes if you get some of the product outside your brows, you can use a Q-tip to just clean up on your face. This brow. I'm just going to comb that through. So I got the brows done. And so now I think it's time for me to apply my powder and then my lipstick. So I'm going to use the Chanel powder. And this is amazing powder. I also like Laura Mercier's translucent powder, but this is great. And then just any brush you have to apply powder. So I'm taking my brush. This isn't even a proper powder brush. It's just a Smashbox brush. Putting it in here to the poof with the powder. Tapping it off any excess. And then I'm going to put the powder on my face. So I start on the nose area. Mouth. Underneath the eyes. And maybe just a little up here because it, I'm so sweaty that I didn't need it today in the photos. Gosh. The Charlotte Tilbury and this brush both shed. So I don't know. I wouldn't recommend getting them if you don't want to shed. Although Charlotte Tilbury is awesome. So. I don't know. I like the shape it does. If someone knows something similar to the Charlotte Tilbury that doesn't shed, let me know. So I have the powder on and this. So now we'll do my lips. So I'm going to use Charlotte Tilbury, Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk, which I'm sure you, well, maybe you haven't heard of it. And just use it to outline my lips. So that's done, and then I'm going to layer over it a lipstick. This is a, well, I forget what color it is. I'm just going to put it on, then I'll link it below. Here we go. Okay. So this is the finished makeup look that I wore for my maternity photos. Um, I wore my hair down in soft curls with little braids that I had my hairdresser do. Um, so I hope you like it. It did not look, I would say it didn't look this shiny um, when I did it. It was definitely a little more matte because it, like I said, it was colder out, my skin was drier. I'm sweating today as I make this, so I apologize. Um, but I think it looks cute. Um, let me know if you like it or if you have any questions. I think what I might do is link a photo to the actual picture so you know what it looks like, photographs. And yeah, I hope you like this video and thanks for watching. Bye.